what's up guys so in this video i am going to show you how to basically use the ipsec protocols the ipsec protocol stand for internet protocol security so uh, this is a protocol that uh, uh, provide a secure secure transfer of the packet so secure transfer of the packet over the internet so and it's really really important okay well, we, uh, it, it's, it's used in many different technology one of the most famous technology is uh for example the vpns this kind of things right so without further ado i'm going to show you how to configure uh the ipsec protocol on your windows 10 machine all right all right let's head here and type for firewall okay then select this option windows defender firewall with uh, advanced security then from here i will select connection security role Okay. Here. New rule. Okay, so we have a lot of uh, options here. What type of connection security rule would you like to create? Isolation. So the isolation restrict the connection based on authentication criteria. Authentication. We have server to server. So we have a lot of options here with uh, their respective explanations. Okay, so this point I can choose uh, maybe this option, for instance, to create a tunnel uh, that will authenticate a connection between two computers. So for that, I will go next here, and then just do a custom configuration, uh, right? So custom configuration, and then here, where do you want to? When do you want to authenticate? when do you want authentication to occur okay when so require authentication for inbound and outbound connection i can do that uh, okay so i can go next let's just see how it works and then here i can put a uh, uh, the the ip address of the first computer the local computer and then the ip address of uh, the the remote computer so the destination okay um right now let's see here uh, which ip address do i have that i can put here on this machine all right so Okay, for the sake of uh, my own security, I won't show my own IP address here. So, but I mean, normally you put your IP, you can put your IP address here, you put another one here. Okay, and uh, then you just go next and uh, that's it. Right, so this is how it works with, uh, with uh, IP, IPsec here. All right, so, let's say just want to use another option let's go back here uh, let's say for example i want to select uh, another rule uh, let's say custom rule for instance same thing is going to come here and um, okay I can tell, say here, this IP address, but I will have to specify the IP address by clicking on add. Okay, if I put IP address, any IP address, any IP address here, okay, to make it easier, request authentication. Okay, let's just make it easier. All right, next. And then, uh, let's do protocol type any and, uh, call number etc so next window just will apply let's say 
uh, let's just leave it in domain okay right next let's call it role two okay let's finish oh and we've created uh, a role a, a real a new uh, role here okay all right so we have created a role number two we, we can open it and it's just been enabled and it's protected okay if we had like if uh we had a, a user maybe some specific ip address we could make it more um clear okay by using these ip addresses and test maybe uh try uh, to test it by launching an ICMP packet from the local computer to the remote computer, okay, and see how the rule is working on that connection, okay, uh, that encrypted connection by the IPS, IPsec protocol. But I mean, um, this is also good, right? And yeah so thank you for that that concludes our demonstration for today thank you for watching and uh, thank you if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and uh, to allow me to continue to do this kind of video all right thank you bye